Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fate Extra. You see me speak to Cassidy here because I was wondering what uh, if she had anything else to say. And that was pretty much it. So let's leave the private room. And uh, I don't know if I continue to check. Nope, I don't. I go to the commissary. Commissary. That's called commissary, right? On to Google. I know I looked this up before, but I can't remember. My headphones felt weird for some reason. Anyway, how to sp pronounce commissary? Commissary, yes. Okay, we're good. Huh? Oh, hey, Ren. She's up there for some reason. Interesting little tidbit here, I suppose. If you're playing the female character, uh, there she has a different pose than our male character here, which is uh, something, I suppose. So what I get from Rin's world is that everything's like okay, like it's stagnation, but there's no, and it's nothing's new anymore. Everything's the same from day to day, and it's just boring, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, in a world where no new video games are produced, I'd go mad. I'm not mad, but uh, it's. No more new video games. What am I gonna do? Uh -huh. But uh, yeah. You know. When I was going through this cutscene originally, I really wasn't paying attention to what was going on. And, uh, watching this video again, um, I barely understood what she said, mostly because I wasn't paying attention, except near the end. I, th I, I made a mental note to pay attention to what she said when I came back to here, and I didn't. It was because I was watching, uh, I, uh, when I play, uh, when I record, I usually have some background noise in the form of a YouTube video, a playlist of a game walkthrough for the, uh, most of the time, and it was uh, I was doing that, and something interesting was going on, so I was more like watching that and doing this at the same time. So that's what I was doing. You know, I guess you know, talking about school-related things. Uh, considering this is a school we're in, and uh, I suppose it's somewhat related. A lot of the times, work in school, for me, is never difficult. Just time-consuming. I do it, it's easy. I, of course I get one here or there wrong, because I looked at a number the wrong way, or I messed up my math just a little bit, and... It's just time consuming a lot of the time. More more often than not, assignments, they're never hard and they're never too boring. Like, I'm engaged in it enough to complete it. I'm sure there are boring assignments out there and I've had my fair share. For the most part, though, I've been able to complete the assignment. I'm not having fun, but I'm trying to complete it because I have motivation to do so. And, yeah. So it's just more time consuming than anything. That's a lot of assignments and that's why I tend to push more assignments away because it's time consuming. And that's why originally I tended to move, don't, um, 
not record these videos every day originally, which is why that's why I didn't do it because these videos took a lot of time. Not a lot of time, but they took a lot of time from where I would just want to fool around, I guess. By fool around, I mean just relax and do what I usually did. And uh, so, and now I'm getting a bit more into doing what I want to do. Of course, I want to relax, but I need to get the things I need to do done as first. Is, is what is the mentality I'm trying to do, and as I'm moving towards that mentality, I am. I am. Uh, it's getting easier to do these sort of things, like do these videos every day. Of course, there are snags in my plan, and I'm unable to record some footage because of of things that I couldn't control, and that's unfortunate. But these things happen, and I don't think I'll be able to record some Super Robot Wars t tomorrow, actually, because I don't really have that much time after this. I'll think about it, but I'll try to fit into my schedule. Actually, I may, because, uh... Yeah, I'll be able to record it. Uh, yeah, I should be able to record footage tomorrow. I should be able to. Should be able to do that. I'll be able to record footage tomorrow, which is tomorrow's Friday, but so I don't know if I'll actually upload anything on Friday. But uh, something should go on definitely on up on uh, on uh, Saturday, hopefully. So that's good. Anyway, the final floor, which is what I plan to call this episode, actually. I, I know I'm original with names. Creative with names, I should say. And uh, All this time, we were actually climbing up the sea, which I never really got from like going up upwards. I know everything looked, looked better, but now that I think back on it, it actually kind of made sense that uh, as we got went up, uh, we, as we went through the the weeks, we were actually going up in the in this uh, virtual sea here. If the first area, if you remember, was just dark blue th th throughout its entirety, just dark blue. And as you went up, the colors changed. I mean, the last floor wasn't anything amazing either. It was just like dark. <laughs> so uh, the first floor made sense because it was like a deep sea. The first floor. Like the first floor overall in the arena in the first week. The first floor on this week though was me. Could have done something with it, but they didn't. And I think about. I wonder if they actually needed to go with this virtual like look. I'm sure it made things easier during development. And like the gameplay isn't like the first thing they had on their minds. I could tell it was a story. And that's fine with the game, but I could I can sort of tell that um, that the environments weren't like the arena environments weren't really their first priority priority, and neither were enemy designs. Considering there is a lot of recolors, they put more more of the effort into the overall story, into the servants, into the main characters. That's where all the effort went into. But into like the little the little the, they put a lot into the main meat into the game, but the skeleton is sort of he not complete if, if I'm trying to make an analogy in which there's a game a game that has the skeleton but not the meat and in this case it's sort of the other way around this game has the meat but lacks most of this lacks the skeleton somewhat because this environment these environments could have been totally made could have been something else besides the sea each environment could have been like a jungle each floor could have been something different, and they, instead of having like these digital pathways, they could have actual environments, because the Seraph can do this, as we can see with the school, or the moon cell, I should say. So it is kind of something that I just noticed right now, is that this game has the meat. It has a lot of meat, but the bones are gone. And this is more in regards to, not like... Uh, Food, because in food you would you prefer the bones to be not there, I suppose, when you're eating meat. But in 
if you're an organism, you a multi-celled com complex organism, you I could have said that a lot better, but you need a you need bones, and this game has the meat but lacks the bones. Or perhaps a better analogy, it would be like an animal that doesn't have uh, its instincts. I suppose I don't think that's really a good analogy. I'm trying to think of a decent analogy for this. But the best one I can think of is the meat without the bones, even though that's not entirely... Uh, even though that isn't an, uh, entirely a proper analogy. But I can't really think of a proper one, so... I'm not really so good at this. I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Good analogy. I'm, I'm trying, still trying to think of one, but I, I can't think of one, unfortunately. Yeah, another Mephilim, a rare monster. So you have plenty of chances to get uh, Merciful Sky. But, uh,. You make battles a lot harder for you if you didn't get it as soon as possible. I am playing Fate Extra again uh, as of this as of as of this episode's uh, commentary recording. I did start playing Fate Extra a little bit, and I'm sort of getting back into it with uh, Saber. And uh, when you get the Matrix level, I do recommend you read that stuff. Because uh, even with Matrix level, Ally Matrix like level zero, maybe it's one. It might be one. I think I think it's actually one to be honest. I don't recall. But uh, if it's one, it actually has some like, um, the, like interesting uh, backstory on the characters. Like uh, Saber has like migraines or whatever, and it's like she has like minor, path she has pathetic magic resistance. Like she has like a special like uh, sk a skill that uh, negates like lower level mag magic, but it's so like pathetic that it's not really helpful. And it's like even among her class, it's like low. So it, it, I found some of that kind of found some of the stuff kind of funny, and it, g it gives more insight on your servant. So I'd actually recommend reading that stuff because for the sake of moving with the videos, I just moved on and didn't really. Talk to the talk to the to talk to the uh, like the NPCs and stuff like that. Because if you talk to the NPCs, they they do have a lot of they have interesting things to say. So I would recommend talking to them. And uh, that was kind of uh, oh yeah when when uh, Leo there said Ikumash I said that wrong. I know. But uh, when he said that, uh, I thought it was Caster originally, and I, I was so confused. And that's why you see me go into the menu and go back out immediately, because I was I was going to confirm whether or not it was actually in fact Caster or not, and it was not Caster. The pretty boy duo. <laughs> I did not catch that when I was playing this. But yeah, after this week, everything should go back to normal in terms of video and uploading. In terms of videos and uploading, be simply, simply because I have already said what what was the issue here. But in ter uh, I guess I'll try to get one Super World War Wars episode out. Just let everybody know, and just watch those videos. Eh, I'm sure if I don't upload for a few days, people won't get too mad. I'll suffer, but uh, I've been busy, a lot busy. Like I'll be able, actually, hmm, I think I may be able to record uh, in bulk and then just, and then upload in bulk, essentially. Anyway, we're gonna fight uh, Gawain. Now, we pretty much would know everything about Gawain at this point, but I guess uh, just for the sake of gameplay, 
and you know exploring the arenas and stuff like that to get matrix level e we have to fight this guy this time and one other time just to learn stuff that we already knew but i guess that's to actually confirm things rather than uh just look things up i guess because we know he's a saber i mean it's quite obviously a saber but uh, then there's he could be an archer <laughs> like arch like archer <laughs> And, uh, like this, like our, you know, like, uh, the archer you can pick as a, as a servant. So that's something you can do. And it's something that, uh, to think about is, is I guess the reason why we don't ha have magic level three, uh, right from the get go is because we needed to confirm these things in these fights just allowed us to confirm these things and learn more of his abilities um yeah just spam your skills pretty much i don't recall all the tactics here but uh oh yeah but gawain and leo will buff themselves so on turn two you probably want to get put uh banish if not on turn three i forget which one is the right turn here but other otherwise just spam your skills and you should be fine and keep your hp at full that's all overall what you want to do and uh, you can actually hurt Gawain right now. And there is actually a reason for that. I'm not sure if this was in the actual like mythos or story, whatever you want to call it. Of Gawain but uh, supposedly when the sun's out he's invincible and if you were paying attention to the background I, I don't know if I actually saw it in here but if you if you look at the background here you could have seen the Sun I think Caster may have mentioned it and uh, if not she mentions it later and uh, that's why Gawain's invincible here and I think the Sun is out during the arena but uh, we do something that sort of uh, prevents him from doing that and that actually is an ability he can activate in battle which I found out during the fight but it by by that I mean he doesn't become invincible like he is here he just uh, takes a lot less damage but it only lasts one turn so and he only does it when he's very low in HP but I guess this happens so you you I guess he's invincible here so you don't actually defeat him and uh, are able to I guess they didn't want to program like extra dialogue. Because in a lot of the earlier fights where you saw you did damage to these servants, if you were properly leveled, uh, if you pro if you grinded, you could have taken some of these guys out. You could take some of those guys out in three turns. And uh, that actually uh, gave you some extra, like an extra scene. And uh, this thing here. I almost died, but I didn't die. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, uh, what should we call it? Leo will sometimes use bomb to prevent you to stun you while Gawain does his blade of devoted as he did there. If you don't guard, I believe bomb will do damage to you, but it won't actually stun you. I believe bomb only stuns against guard. So uh, yeah, that's something. I don't know why I'm good guard there. Oh yeah, because I can't hurt him, so there's no point. I think that was my line of thinking there. So yeah, all you have to do here is survive three turns and you'll be fine. If you keep in mind the strategies I've told you already, then you should be fine overall. Especially if you're the other servant, because I noticed right off the, off the bat that Saber, not, not Gawain, is, uh, can take a lot more damage than Caster. Caster is pretty weak out of all the servants, defensive-wise, so... Anyway, this battle is over.
So we do absolutely no damage to Gawain. And, uh... Yeah. We're way... Alright, my character, you see, you're over here. While Leo is way over there. Actually, you're up, this is a better analogy, you're up here. And Leo's down here. Now that much, not, not far down, but he's down. Because we can use, he's, he's easy. He's not too difficult. I've lost a few times, but that was because I'm... I lost twice, and that was because I made some... I uh, made a bad uh, decision. Like, I made the wrong call. It was like this call or the other call, and if I did the other call, I would have been fine. But I made the wrong call, and I, I paid for it. But yeah, as you can see here, we already know a lot about Gawain. Gawain. Anyway, you can't actually explore further into the arena today, because uh, you'll just fight, well, your characters. Oh, let me rephrase that. Caster and you. I think actually just you. Uh, chalk it up to that. Uh, if you go there, they'll just fight you again. And they'll just try to. Uh, and the same thing will just happen. Although, you don't really get penalized while fighting your opponents in the arena. So I don't know why that was like. said in the beginning. I guess that you're penalized if you fight for longer than three turns somehow. If you continue to fight after that, after that long. So yeah, he says I should be able to have a rematch if I catch up with him. And, uh... But, uh, yeah, so there's no point in going over there. We have to get out of the arena and try to think of something else to do. But anyway, since this video only has a minute left, I'm going to end the commentary here. So, I'll see you guys again next time, wherever that is. Whenever that is. Bye.